These are my tools for making great PS2 tutorials. Let's do this. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Project Phoenix Media. So I wanted to do a real quick proof of concept video. So for celebration of Pi Day 314, we're gonna showcase the Raspberry Pi 4 uh, using the PSX Pi SMB Share um, image, distro, OS, whatever you wanna call it, that allows you to host your PS2 games through USB or store it on a micro SD card on your Raspberry Pi 4, share it to your PS2 Fat or Slim that is running uh, OPL that is launched through Free McBoot or Fortuna Project or some other method. So let's do this. So here's my setup real quick here. And I got my Raspberry Pi 4. It already has an image installed with the micro SD right here. And here's your USB ports, so here's your Ethernet. So what I'm gonna do real quick is put the cover back on and then plug in my USB. I'm gonna use USB 2.0 here. And then plug in the ethernet cable. And we're good to go. And then let's go back to the TV and run OPL. So this is not a full blown tutorial on how to use the PSX Pi SMB share. If you're curious, I've done a video with the older models of the Raspberry Pi. Um, Raspberry Pi 4 is a little bit different, so if you're interested, let me know. I might make a follow up tutorial on the exact stuff and how I got it to work it's not as simple as it may seem. So I got two games installed on the USB today. I got Godzilla Save the Earth and Marvel vs. Capcom 2. So let's go ahead and try the Godzilla game. It's been a while since we showcased something else different here. But yeah, if you got the only reason I'm doing it is I do have an extra Raspberry Pi laying around, so I thought I'd be put it to good use here. Of course, there's a lot of different methods for hosting your games through SMB. Um, previous videos, I showed the TP-Link Nano Router or the Travel Router. That's a pretty good, decent solution too. Or you have a computer, a laptop, an Android box. Um, maybe you have a router that has a USB port that you can plug in USB devices to host your games. You know, that is another good alternative too. So there's a lot of different ways to skin the cat in terms of how you want to play your PS2 games. So the options are definitely endless in regards to that there. But I do like the SMB method. It's a good way to play your games uh, without using your laser. Um, a lot of games do work, although some games are not compatible. So you just got to give a try with your favorite games and see how well they run. But for the most, most part, they do run pretty well, especially for the FMV video game sequences. I've not had any issues with that. Music is great, gameplay is great. So usually a lot of the games I've tested so far, they work pretty pretty well through the SMB method. If you don't have SMB, you can certainly do it through USB, although it's gonna be a little bit slower because it is USB 1.1 for the PS2 ports. So just gonna do some quick gameplay here. But anyways, we can clearly see that it works using the Raspberry Pi 4, using the PSX Pi SMB Share image for hosting my PS2 games through, uh, through the USB, which is shared over SMB between the PS2 and the Raspberry Pi 4. So you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.